Okay. Man, I got a headache. Oh. Golly. The reason why it says it sucks because... Here, let me take my headphones out. Oh, my God. I'm trying to, like, open up this vacuum cleaner. Let's all see. Um, but, yeah, I'm back. So, oh, God. I'm all emotional right now from all that stuff that I was dealing with with my kid. But I think I resolved everything. And so, I think we're good. Um, but yeah, I got a little bit, every time I say I'm like not gonna, um, do another product, they're like, oh, what happened just earlier? Like I just, my kid had all this, these problems, uh, with school and like had, had in school suspension and he gets sent home and then he just wasn't listening to me. And then it just, it was really emotional and then talking to like you know when you're talking to people that are like to like almost too like it's important to be positive but it's kind of like um it's hard because like when you're in a really good mood you want like everyone else around you just you know focus on the positive be happy right it's like this little patch of psoriasis. My my grandma made me wash my neck once, saying I had dirt, but I've had this like birthmark thing for a long time. Anyway. Oh, it says pin the product. I'm just watching them. The lives telling me, push me out. Anyway, I was just, sometimes it's hard because you want to connect with people, but people want to be like really like everything's amazing and it's kind of like they don't everything is amazing but it does it's like we're still human so we still have like sometimes an emotional thing so I'm trying to become I am becoming a more positive this is the product I'm supposed to like open it up before they chastise me for that I just wanted to be happy and like, but I had to be a parent and people that don't have kids sometimes too, it's like, don't get it. And it's just for people that don't have mental health problems or don't have this or don't have that. Or all I'm saying is a lot of people don't know everything to be able to fully relate, but they, and then they think they do. And then you're like, but you don't get it. So, sorry, I can't just, and it's okay to get emotional some days too. Like, it's okay to be human and to like, sorry about that rant, but I just, I couldn't tonight. I can't, I can't take people that are like fake Christian where it's like, you don't need anything in this world. And it's like, yeah, okay, well. But we're still in this world right now, so yeah, we still have kids to raise. We still, we still have to make money. We still have to, you know. I don't know. I can't. Oh, why is it telling me to pin a product? I already fucking pinned the product. It's pinned. I've got it here. Maybe you can help me hook it up. Anyway, I was excited. It's just one of those things, you know, it's like you get excited by something and then somebody's like, but you know, life's not about stuff. It's just kind of like, don't burst my fucking bubble. Like I was happy. Thank you. <laughs> like, you know, like I was happy about it. Thanks. I'm trying to be happier. Let me have my moment. Right. It's like, I don't know. That's not compassionate. Like when you're like struggling and your friend's so fucking like, like not even like 
human, but whatever, they'll learn, they'll learn that, like, you get it, you get what I'm saying? There's a happy meaning of, like, lifting somebody up, but also recognizing when they're in a realistically tough spot, and not just shoving a bunch of, like, you, you guys get it, right? Yeah, there's, like, this, like, like, you do want to not so sit in stew with people and you want to help. I don't know how I'm going to put this together. But I was kind of excited because I think it's cordless. And I, and they, I, I don't know. I'm, somebody just decided to send it to me. I don't know why. The, this brand or whatever, but I've never gotten a more expensive item like this before. So I was excited. So I don't need somebody to say like, Life's got more meaning when you have, you know, it's like, just let me be excited about my fucking thing. Thank you. <laughs> my worldly stuff, right? My little thing to distract me from my emotional crap with my child that like, I'm, it's just life is life. People have things that we happen and we can't, we got to be like encouraging, but we also have to like be empathetic towards people too, right? And when you don't have empathy, then you really don't have any kind of, you're not going to reach a lot of people without it, okay? If you're really wanting to help people, like you want to, like, that's what gets me though. I'm talking about something that's completely just, I've been around too much. I get a religious spirit on me and it's like, oh. I'm all about, you know, Jesus' message of love one another and don't, you know, just love. Just love and be kind. But to tell, to tell, go into the, like, all the stuff you got to give up is you're not, you're not going to, like, that's not the mess. That's not the message. That's not the good news. Like, you know, like, give it all up. And then you get what? Get something I've never experienced? That's all I'm saying. When people haven't ex experienced the joy, like I went years without any joy, years of depression. And cause I, my, my life was so screwed up. It's taking years to get to where I'm at. And so when somebody wants to say like, just encourage me for where I'm at. That's the point I'm making. We need to encourage people with where they're at today they're enough today even if they're still like drinking and having sex with five dudes in the same day you know it's like they're still okay you're still okay it's not like you shouldn't do that because it's just i can't I can't do that today anyway so i was excited about a cordless vacuum that if it is cordless does that mean it charges i probably had one a long time ago a littler one remember sharper image Oh gosh, I did, I figured out the stud finder though. Thank God. Like that gave me a lot of joy to like figure out how to use a stud finder and hang that painting. Anyway, a cordless vacuum that's powerful might actually work because even though I'm you guys are going to Exactly. We start from where we are. Yes, that's the whole message right there. Is you just are where you are. You are where you are today. And if you fucked up, oh well, that's where you are. And it's okay. And and that's the message. It's but it, it's not like you're condoning bad behavior. It's just It's just it took me years to figure that out, you know? just years to finally realize like this, you know, th this is where I'm at. Or if I made a mistake, Oh, I made a mistake. And I, it doesn't, I, if I focus on it, I'm not going to get better. You're just going to make more mistakes. That's the whole point. That's the secret right there. That's the secret sauce. So you just focus on, but this was cool. Yeah. I don't, I bought a vacuum that I regret buying because I thought I actually spent like $1,200, which is embarrassing that I spent that much, but it was USA made. And I thought I could go to the repair shop and it was supposed to last like 20 years, but it just, 
I don't know. It's okay on carpets. It works great, but I don't have any carpets. So like now this will be cool because I, I can actually, and I have too many, I have a lot of pets. So this, this, this thing was, a, this was a nice gift and that's, it's okay to be happy about stuff sometimes, right? Like what? Like it's a blessing. Cool. Right. Sometimes you reach people like just with that kind of stuff, you know, random act of kindness or, you know, I don't know. I, I, that whole Starbucks thing, I don't know if you guys have ever been in one of those like trains where they buy your drink and you're like, ah, oh! you feel like you won the lottery. You're like, oh my gosh, the car in front of me bought it. But the, the barista is, it's so annoying when they do that, that the lady was like, just no, no, you, you really don't have to. Like she like discouraged me to do the whole train thing. She, it's a mess for those baristas to do that. Cause then they got to like figure out how to get the next person to pay. I don't, it's weird. It's not like it causes a lot of frustration for them, but yes. Cause then everyone's like, well, I want to buy the person behind me. And it's kind of like, that's great, but just just take the gift. Take the gift and be happy, right? Sometimes. And then I do it randomly to somebody else, right? Another day, but if, I don't know what I'm saying. Just find those moments where you can do something random for somebody. I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I hate, are you, do you guys read instructions or are you like me i thanks for sharing the live rachel i i've never heard of this brand but i guess it's probably an amazon brand but do you guys read instructions i heard that like women somebody say that like women don't want a cleaning app, like a cleaning product for a gift, but I don't think that's true. Personally, I think if it's a really cool cleaning product and it might be something that somebody didn't want to spend that much money on, it would, that's the best gift is like something you wouldn't buy yourself, but you would like to have. Um, but yeah, I hate finding, I hate reading instructions for some reason. I resist that, but again, that's what causes me problems is my resistance to like, I love these shoes. They're actually just like, ugh. I got them on eBay. Like they're men's, I guess, but I mean, unisex, whatever. But I really like those shoes. They're so stinking comfortable. They're kind of, they're ugly. It's weird because they call them ugg and they're kind of ugly, but I love comfortable shoes. See, this is overwhelming to me. Like, why do I need 40 pages? Like, I don't even want to read a chapter in school. <laughs> so, like, you're giving me a manuscript uh, for, for a vacuum. To me, it should be self-explanatory. There's got to be a picture. Oh, it probably would be with just the photograph. You think we could do it with just the photograph and put the pieces together? Guys are really good. I mean, women can be really good, too. I know it's not a gender thing, but sometimes men... Or women, but I've seen a lot of men be very mechanically inclined that they just pop, they just see something and they put it together in two seconds. I was always amazed by that. Which is why I probably let guys do stuff more when really I could have done it, but I didn't learn. And that might be with their practice that makes them be even better at this stuff. Because once I've actually attempted to do some stuff, I'm like, it's not that hard. Okay, going back to the photograph. <laughs> so there's these two pieces, right? Okay, you got to think here, right? Let's hope this one sucks. I hate it when I have a vacuum cleaner and I'm like, this one sucks. It just sucks, but it really doesn't suck. Like, it doesn't work. So it's like, it's the anti-sucking, I don't know. I'm like, it blows. That's a better one. Oh, I figured it out. Hey. <laughs> Just stretching.
stretch in the back. Stretch in the back. But I literally have like per like I didn't clean. No, like that was planned. No, it wasn't planned. Well, actually, this little piece of hair. I've cut my hair this morning. I was like, well, oh, maybe I'll use it on the new vacuum. Get it going. Get it going. Blink. What? You want a screenshot of blink? I'm confused. Okay, now what? Now what? It's like, it just pops together. No instructions necessary. Is that a possibility? Is that a possibility? No, I'm missing something. Okay, so yeah, consult the instructions again. What are we missing? Oh, crud. I don't know what this is going to be. Maybe it hangs on the wall. You got your attachments. Am I the only one that loses these things like all the time and never uses them? Even though they're amazing, the attachments are amazing, but they're just like extra things that seem overwhelming and get lost and don't get put back on the same little prong because they or they fall off. And yes, I know you're with me, but this attachment looks cool. Actually, this looks really cool. What if this works in the car? That would be amazing, actually. Yeah, you don't use the attachments either. The thought of actually hanging this up on my wall seems a bit overwhelming right now, even though I can do it. Oh, okay, so this is the charger. Try, so it looks like it charges really easily with just a plug. And then, I don't know. We should be basically done here. So I guess it boils down to like, oh, look at, here we go. Here we go. <gasps> no, I got excited for nothing. Okay, there's got to be, I think there's photographs too. It's, it says assembly tips. Here, I didn't have to open up the whole manual, guys. This is going to be amazing if I didn't have to read 40 pages. You wasted a tree because the sticker said it all. It says, build the stick. Oh, I love how they call it a stick. That's great. It's so simplistic. <laughs> uh, it says, build the stick by aligning the dots on the stick. These pieces and pushing them together. <laughs> that's, that's all we needed. That's all we did was this, this sticker telling me to use these dots and the stick to put the stick together in the dots. Wow, a caveman could write that down in hieroglyphics. And, and we don't need to use all this paper. This could be a fan now, see? Because I got my sticker that <laughs> with my assembly tip right here. So there's these little dots, see? You see that dot? Let's find the other dot. No? Where's the other dot? Well, there's got to be... I don't know. Is, what am I missing here, guys? Come on. Can't be that hard, because I feel like these little metal prongs... would go in there. Do they not just go in there? Hmm. Or do they go in? S I don't understand why it's not connecting. Is there another sticker with some magic? Anybody else know? <laughs> Golly, I'm hungry. I didn't eat enough today. Okay. Okay, let's, oh, I found one of those dots they were talking about. Align the dots. We're almost there, I think. Almost. Something's, ah, it's, it, I, and it's so simple. It's supposed to just pop in. Why is it not popping in? Come on, come on, work with me here. Okay, let's consult with the photograph. I thought I had it. Oh, the photograph helped because I looked at the little... See, I'm visual. I'm a visual learner. There's two dots there. These little things. So it's got to be this way. 
So there's got to be a piece. You'd think there was just one piece that clipped on here that would make this. Should I? I don't want to consult with the book. You know what? Did they do this? No. Oh, <gasps> what's this? No, that's an attachment. Okay. There's a lot of really cool attachments. Push the silver button in. Oh, oh my gosh. No way. Is that what it is? This, this little button, this thing, these prongs. See, he already figured it out. Just looking at it. He's like, he knows there's come on. Come on. I feel like really, I'm not stupid, but I feel like something's so simple is maybe it's just backwards or something. You think it's just backwards? What if it's just backwards? Why is this not going in? This should just slide in like it's not and I don't understand. And then, well, you know what? We'll get this part on here. What do you think about that? You know, maybe, maybe I have this upside down. Maybe I have this upside down because this clearly is a twit, uh, is a, uh, this is this right here. There's something to it. Okay. There's something to it. It's supposed to be so simple. So. Did I do it upside down? Oh, what if I, what happened? Did that, oh, wow. Wow, I had it wrong. Did you see that? I thought, wow, you can have it so wrong, but you think you're right. And then you're like, figure it out. And then you had it backwards. And then you're like, oh my God, revelation. Holy crap. I knew it was that simple. It was simple. I just, I made it hard somehow. I was like, this is like, I finally, see, I finally had to use my critical thinking, my logical brain and say, pink scrubs, you want to jump on here? Do you want, I told her about my vacuum already that we were going to try. Yeah, I finally had to say something's not adding up. Maybe it's like upside down like this maybe it's like backwards wow 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 yeah i am it's good to see you oh she's got four kids well yeah it's earlier she's in california time so it's, it's they're still awake they don't get the ether out till 8 p.m it's so good to see you, Pepper Princess. I always want to think she's Peppa Pig for some reason, but it's Pepper 23 P Princess, and I read Peppa Pig Princess. I don't know. I go somewhere else. So. <laughs> they sent me this. They sent me. I was so excited because I've never actually been sent, like, a real, like, um, I mean, everything counts, but... I'm appreciative, don't get me wrong, but I just thought, oh my God, wow, an actual stick vacuum. Oh, wow, like, whoa. It was just a bigger item, so it was exciting. Plus, I think it was God doing for me what I could not do for myself, which was recognize the fact that I probably needed one of these at the house because I can, like, use it in the car and stuff, you know, like the seats. And I just think this is going to be great. <laughs> that was a realistic, like that was dramatic. Wow. Wow. Should we see it in action? Yeah, I was excited about it. So I figured I'd jump on the live and then I guess I will have to, um, like, my house, I'm trying, it just was the timing thing because I'm trying to get my, I'm not trying, I need to stop saying trying. I'm working on getting organized, buckling down, not living in chaos, and 
something simple like this could, you know, just go vacuum your room. It's vacuums and like it's a broom at the same time. And I didn't have one and I was too stingy to buy one. I was just for some reason hell bent on the $1,200 vacuum cleaner that I bought because somebody told me it was made in America and it had horse hair on the little brush and I just, whatever. Let's just not, let's just, let's just move forward, move forward with my stick. What size shoe am I? Generally like a 10-ish, but a nine sometimes, like in a pump, like a, like a heel leather pump, probably more of a nine or nine and a half, between nine, 10. But that's a small shoe for somebody who's like a giant. Like, I am a giant. I mean, comparatively speaking to the rest of the world, I'm like almost 5'11". When I put shoes on, I'm probably, you know, standing over six feet tall at any given day. And uh, much to my surprise, sometimes people are like not that tall. Even men are like shorter. Like, they're, I'm like looking like, what happened? to we, We're supposed to be getting taller, but there's a lot of people that are not which is okay. They have less lower back issues and um, and they can become gymnasts, jockeys, you know? And I dated shorter dudes. I did not discriminate. So it is what it is. But being a giant or be, you know, standing six feet on any given day and feeling kind of like, like, like I'm going to just knock shit over, you know, when I walk so... <laughs> It's like that sometimes. It's just things are small, especially like kids, you know, toy houses. And you're just, you just, yeah. even my tripod is like really low right now. I have to raise it for some reason. I don't know. I think, well, I probably lowered it so I could charge my phone. I don't know where I was going with that on the height. I did have a point, but I forgot it. It was just like, Oh, that my feet are kind of smallish for being a giant. And I got a really funny message back when I sold something on eBay once. Um, it was a petite brand of like capris. Okay. They were like J. Jill, petite, you know, it was a brand for whatever. If you're petite, I guess you might want those. Uh, I don't know. So I held them up. And I was like, oh yeah, these are, they were up to here. So I thought they were petite capris, like, you know, capris for petite people. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I listed them as petite capris. So I guess somebody this tall decided that they were gonna put them on. And then, you know, they wanted a, a little pair of crop petite clam diggers, whatever you wanna call them for the little Florida beach trip, whatever it was. They sent them back to me. They were not capris. They were, I guess, the petite jeans. And she wrote on the note, and once you are a giant, these are not capris. And I was like, I look and I'm like, oh. as a matter of fact, I am a giant. So that makes sense why, why? <laughs> It was just really funny. I, I saved that note. I should frame it. But I don't know where it is. Because, yeah. You look tall. Yes, I'm tall. I'm tall. I'm tall. I am. Standing next to a door. Which is probably how tall are doors. Anyway, let's see if this thing really sucks. I'm really excited. I did, I started to watch that movie and I don't think I finished it because it's just kind of like real, I don't know. I don't know. I thought, oh my God, it's great, I'm tall. I used to work at a clothing store called Tall Girl for like three years. And so I was like average in there because we had like women that would come from like the Trouble Tri-State area. It was kind of a Chicago suburbs and they'd come from Indiana, Wisconsin, they'd come down. All these tall people, these and then their families, these boys would be like six seven in high school, they're like fifteen, dad's like six ten, mom's six four, mom's got a shop for her clothes, the only place she can get clothes. <laughs> I got we'd get like Olympic bat like basketball players, volleyball players, it was crazy. 
the inseam was like 37 inches on average. It's pretty wild. So let's see if this works. I am really hungry. I need to eat something. Okay, guys, how do you show somebody something vacuuming? Let's see. To post my little, I don't know how I could post. I want to see if it vacuums that hair up. Actually, let's just see. Let's just see. There's a little pile of hair. So this is for all the beauticians out there. Wait, now do you just pop it with your foot? Okay, I'm kind of nervous. Here we go. <gasps> it sucked it up. A big wad of hair. Now you can see the hair in there. Sometimes it's just fun to look at weird. I don't know why I'm like a little kid sometimes. I get, and it's kind of nice and tall for me. I like this, my big ass self. And I can move it in the little car, get the carpets. I'm liking this. I've never experienced a stick vacuum. Maybe Dyson's the one that brought this, you know, you know how they come out with their stuff and then everyone else does it. So you said, is it too short? Um... I feel like it's fairly comfortable. I think because it's up to my waist here and I think I can kind of go like that. And I'm like, like I said, like standing six feet tall right now. So like it's actually decent because I've had that issue before and it's not very loud. And once it's not like, wow. I'm going to vacuum for two minutes and this whole thing's going to fill up and you got, you're going to be like, I can't believe you were like, living like but no more can't can't worry about the past can't worry about the, well at least i got out of the funk i was in by coming on here and, um i might have to charge it though right oh wow oh wow good god this thing's like dirty this carpet got so well it's kind of a cat's carpet so wow and this is good because the dog, if you have pets, you know. Oh, God. You don't want to. I wasn't really joke. Wow. That's horrifying. That is like horrifying. I literally vacuumed that little tiny rock. How come everything's so dirty? It's like because you don't ever clean. That's why. No, like I vacuum every. No. Wow. That's embarrassing. Like, what the hell is this? There's like. I vacuum for 30 seconds and it's like. Whoop. Okay. It works. <laughs> the product works. And I'm a pig. Hello, it's me. I'm the problem. It's, yeah. Okay, well, I can't even vacuum anymore. Like, it just sucked it all. And I, I went over my rug, and it's, wow. Yeah. That's, I'm going to blame it, though. Well, that's really the cat's rug, but it kind of is, because she, like, kind of eats there and stuff. But, like, whoa. Wow. So, how are you guys doing? How are you doing? But, yeah, if you've got... You know what else I got recently, though? I got... I, I was sick of the litter box um, mess. The cat just... You know how sometimes they dig? I actually... They came up with this other design. Um, yeah, because when you want to pick up the little litter box crumbs... They finally figured it out and was like, don't look at the poo, that's gross. But those purple crystals last like a month. One bag, just saying. I know other people wouldn't do that, but like you can scoop out the poop and then the, the pee goes to the bottom and it doesn't stink and it's incredible and it's way more cost effective. But literally the box, the cat gets to jump in the box and then does its business. And then when it jumps out, it like... Uh, doesn't 
have as much mess because it's kicking it all around. The litter, I know I saw your cat. We both have black cats. Um, I, and this isn't the litter box. Oh, let me pick up the litter. Because I was going to use a vacuum to like vacuum that area. But like now that I have that stick vacuum, I probably will vacuum like more often. I guess that's the key. It's it's the it's pet safe pet safe. This is just a personal testimony. I'm not pinning this litter. I sh I don't they sh I would all day long if they because I I got these bags like I don't know I I don't do the Amazon I should like with the links and stuff I need I think it is on my Amazon but I've never I don't think anyone's ever clicked and bought off I don't know the Amazon thing you know. A lot of people are like, click the link. Um, but I don't have that linked or whatever. I think I have some of this on Amazon. But um, I think I paid $24 for a bag. But, like, this bag, will, like, this might be, seem gross. But you can get a whole, like, could stretch it out for, like, two months if you had to. And I have because of the cost effect. <laughs> I don't want to spend, like, that's still, like, $12 a month for litter. That just seems crazy. But I was buying those big buckets from Fresh Scoop. And um, the vacuum is sick, though. I'm sure people are bouncing in and out, and people didn't get to actually see, like, that I vacuumed for, like, two seconds. And, like, this is how much crap ended up in there and it's gross okay there's like dirt again like I was saying that's where the kid la the cat kind of tracks but it's gross that that's good. like I heard dish is you know she hangs out and he eats here and I kind of brush her on this carpet but still that's like really gross that that's Pets are, I love pets though they are kind of gross because they do have the fur and you know they're messier. And then you got kids. This thing is like amazing. Like, oh my God. I was not expecting that. Wow. I don't like selling stuff though. Like for the sake of like selling it. If I like something and it helps me in my life and makes my life better. Like look at this. Then I want to like just show people to help them, right? That's all it is. Don't judge, don't judge. Gotta do laundry over here. Oh, I didn't even see the light. You can get the little, but I just switched to that big box litter thing. Game changer. It's also bad because I have like, I ripped up my brand new carpeting, carpet, no, flooring over here because I the water got underneath it and yeah I really got to do a new floor in here now it's not even that old so it pisses me off but yeah anyway you got a cat hi hi uh my <laughs> I bought this rack so I could put everything that was on the I just need to organize stuff okay it's like any hoarders it's like any hoarders. Uh, yeah, so this is, and it's not true. Women love cleaning supplies for gifts. Who wouldn't, that's like really gross. It's almost embarrassing to show people my mess, but that's usually what I do. It's usually what I do. <sighs> I can make you feel better about your place that you're, or if you're a slob too, you could be like, wow, it's not just me. Oh my God. <laughs> because I actually will, when I invite people over, I will put um, A&E hoard A &E hoarders on in the back, like just kind of on the TV playing. 
and then I'll be hanging out. Oh no, and I'll be like, you know, I try to warn them, you know, oh, it's kind of messy in here, you know, but we're just hanging out. And then they start looking at the TV and they're like, oh my God. And then I'm like, yeah, I'm so sorry that it's like messy. I'm not that good of a cleaner. It actually worked before this chick, I kid you not, was like, no, you're not that messy at all. Like it worked, it worked. <laughs> It was like Operation Mockingbird over here. Like, I'm just going to subtly play like people that are way worse uh, than me. So, yeah, maybe that's me for you. Maybe I'm your, well, I'm not as bad as her. And I'll be that person for you. Thank you, Hank. Thank you like the sweater. I think it's just one of those Michael Kors. I don't know. I got it for at a thrift store for a couple bucks but it was cute thank you uh, oh goodness it's already like i need to do some yoga for real but i'm trying to get organized and yeah that stick vacuum was like a a game changer i'm not just saying that i never had one that was i mean i like more I like the bigger the better so like I'm like oh kind of over here like wanting to redesign it like why can't this canister be bigger because I can only clean for like two minutes with this size of <laughs> oh my god I love the way they do it clear so you can see how disgusting you are and I'm laying on the floor oh well it, um, so yeah, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. I just, the pro, the problem is, is like, I, they keep sending, like asking me to do like, put, uh, like a, like a post on, they're like, you have to do it within three days. And I'm like, so I'm freaking out now because I took too many of them. And then I'm like, every time I'm like, I'm not going to take any more. And then they're like, here's a helicopter drone thing that your kid can play with. I'm like, okay. And then the other one was, here's a heating pad. Well, I can always use an extra heating pad. I use one every day, which I do. I'm obsessed with a heating pad because it feels real. It's just a, it's a, a life hack because I think a lot of people don't use them, especially younger kids. And even the younger kids, I call them kids if they're in their 20s or 30s, younger people get achy too nowadays especially with what's in our diet and everything and our posture and lack of exercise so the heating pad oh you have you use it for emotional support i see i've never called it does do does it ever like help your muscles that are tight though or like because if you're hunched over studying see the, the only reason why i thought about the heating pad and a lot of women will use them for cramps and stuff but like I had a back issue and it was achy when it was cold out. And I didn't, once I laid on some heat, even though I know they say ice for inflammation. But once I laid on some heat one day, I was like, oh my God. Because what it does is if your muscles are, are stiff, it, it's science. You know, it does soften the tissue. It heats it up. So that the fascia, I don't know the scientific terminology, but it does help the stiffness. And a lot of us have like a stiff lower back. Anyway, I'm getting on a whole other topic here with the heating pad. But I like love like my heating pad. <laughs> um, It's more just like it helps me sleepy, like the warmth of it. Yeah, the electric blanket can do something similar too. Like I, some people don't. They're, they, everyone's different. They'll just, like be sleeping like naked. I'm like, who wants to be like freezing? And they're like, well, I just put a blanket on. And I love it when it's cold with the fan and the window open and 66 degrees in here. And I'm like, what? Like, <laughs> love you too. I'm like, uh, n yeah, I don't want to be cold. They're like, oh, and then you put the blanket on you. I'm like, okay like a comforter like i got down comforter like they want to freeze but have a down comforter on their naked body i'm like okay but 
because I'm all like bundled up, right? And then I want a heating pad and then get into the heating blanket and a whole, it's a whole other level of like, wow. But sometimes yeah, those little tiny simple things really help. My, my grandma had horrible scoliosis. Like her spine was so horrifyingly, it's horrible. I mean, she's gone now, but God bless her because you know how like elderly people already can sometimes have it hunched, but hers was like an S and like it, it just went S on her. I don't know. They said like in the depression, they didn't get enough milk. They blamed it on that. I guess because the calcium, but I don't know. Now people are like saying not to drink cow's milk. I don't know what's true about that. I mean, I, don't, I think I'm, I don't know. Cause I'm not, I'm not there yet. Why so messy? Cause I'm on here cleaning my, um, sorry. I'm, I'm more, this is sadly, this is progress and I'm trying to get myself organized and that's what I'm doing now. And everything like my house flooded in 2021, but we didn't get back into it till like eight months. So like, we're talking like be early 2022. I didn't even have appliances. Yes. It's, that's been almost two years, but What's my excuse? I don't know. That, like, derailed me. I went through, like, I had a mental block, and I just, I couldn't. I have two kids and the job and the just doing all of it, and it was just like, I can't keep up with something's got to go, and sometimes that something was the housework. I'm not going to lie. And then it got worse and worse and worse, and then it got to the point where it was so overwhelming, and then it was causing depression because of all the clutter and the chaos. I mean, it wasn't filth. Like, it's not like, you know, some people have, like, to me, it's cl it was clutter, I guess. Maybe that's my excuse to say it's just clutter because it's still, but it, I finally got in a better place where I was, like, mentally feeling better and then thought, and I felt like, okay, I could tackle this. I just had, but it was like nothing, the problem that was so hard, and this is for a lot of people that have a house with a bunch of clutter, is that everything is in the wrong place. So when somebody comes in and says, you just got to put stuff back where it's supposed to be, and you're, <laughs> well, I put my hairbrush back in the drawer, but the, you know, this drawer is full of this stuff. So it's like the whole, like, Everything is in its wrong place, and so it's a process to, like, organize it. And then I probably had done some hoarding. I'm not going to lie. It, hoarding as in buying things I didn't need because they were inexpensive, like go to a thrift store and, oh, it's quarter day. Everything's a quarter. Oh, I could just get a bag of stuff for, like, you know, I would just find these th these things where it's like, oh, you can throw a whole bag up for $4. Like, okay, I'll take five. $20 momentarily, like, give me some dopamine or something. Because then I started selling stuff on eBay. So then that made it worse. So if you're already kind of struggling in that area, it's like even harder when you start buying things that like you're going to sell and make money. And then you're like, well, because I sold that, this whole trip didn't cost me anything. So I can buy these things for the kids. And it just, it, full disclosure, yeah, it, it became kind of a problem. But I minimize it because it's not like, you know, it's it wasn't like bad enough for CPS to take my kids away or anything. You know, <laughs> like if they're like, don't care about clutter, just saying, no matter what you think, they they look in the fridge to make sure you got food. They make sure the kids have a place to sleep and some clothes. Running water is important. And that's about it. There's people in, like, such horrid conditions that, I don't know. But that's off topic. I'm supposed to be showing my awesome stick vacuum. No, I, this is just a pile of stuff that I'm, org this is organized chaos. <laughs> That it's not put up yet, so, yeah. I probably should try to go to bed, though. But I was really excited.
about this this stick vacuum. What's up, Pearl Pink Scrubs seventy nine? Yeah. It was it was amazing. I'm laying on the floor again. Look at that. It just ended up here. I got this ring. This is um on eBay. Yeah, I did. Um yeah, cuz I thought about that. I the um but I could again, I could resell it. Um yeah, cuz it's a David Yerman it's it's hard to see, but it's got the little diamonds. I'm not glorifying like it's the deal I got on it, if that makes sense. Because I was, I really like it, but then I would kind of was like trying to get things that I could that could retain value as far as with our money and I don't know. I, so like wealthy people buy assets. Not that I'm wealthy, but it, the thought process was if I'm going to shop to get things that like will hold their value that I could resell for more later. Okay. Just FYI. That's a pro tip. Buy gold. Okay. Buy some gold. Buy, just buy silver coins. I have some I bought. Um, You like how I think? Yeah, well, there's, like, a banking collapse coming that pe that's, like, not, you know, being presented as such. But just like in 08, people were laughing in 2006. <laughs> Home values will never come down. Ooh. So, yeah, that's what's going on now. And that's kind of what I just, I don't know, I like the economy. I love it. I always did because my grandfather told me one day when I was like seven, he just randomly mentioned like, oh, I should have bought stock in Disney and, and like McDonald's a long time ago. And I was like, what do you mean you should have bought Disney and McDonald's? What are you talking about? What's stock? And then he explained to me how you could buy a small share of a company and that it would go up in value over time. In my head... Damn, like, my eyes lit up as a child. And I thought, in my head, my little kid brain went, why doesn't everybody do that? That makes a lot of sense. If you To buy something that you know will increase in value. And so, yeah, I, I've, like, it's weird because, like, when you're a little kid, a lot of your likes and dislikes can, like, come out, like, and then when I was 10, I got really into serial killers because of Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> that was a total like 180. We just, whoa, we went there. Um, yeah, we did because I watched the vats in Milwaukee being walked out. You guys remember that? And my mom said, oh my God, there was bodies in those. There was acid in there. And I was just like, what do you mean? And she just like told me like, Oh, yeah, he, like, killed all those people and ate them, and, like, their bodies were in those... Ter and I was like, oh, wow. And I remember that. I remember watching... It's weird how you remember certain things, and you can watch, like... Oh, my God, crypto's on here. Yeah, I was just in love with my vacuum cleaner, but we just started talking about the banking collapse that's coming. And then we started talking about Jeffrey Dahmer. We, as in me. <laughs> and then we started talking about Jeffrey Dahmer. Uh, yeah, so, um, mm -hmm. what was I showing you guys? My, my coin. I, I went, cr so if you're going to buy stuff, a lot of people don't have money. So, sorry if you don't. But this is why you don't. Because you don't invest in... And everyone says they can't afford it and they don't have any money and they think they're just going to win the lottery and that they're going to just like invest then. But that's not how it works. So because I know from experience, although I've made some bad investments with the stocks, but I'm learning. Um, 
I'm more of a gambler because I'm more of an entrepreneur. But so we basically, I started with just, you know, if you can only do $50 a month or you just bought a steam mop. Wow. That might be a whole other level. This was like, I vacuumed for like 30 seconds and it was really gross that that's what came off the rug. So yeah. So it's a game changer. And if you don't know what to get a woman for Christmas, it is not true that they don't like cleaning supplies. They do like things that make their lives easier. They do. You're not going to offend them. They like to, if people like to get something, they would, I bought a vacuum cleaner for a guy that I was dating once because it was a shark and it was a nice gift. And he was, he had his old ass Hoover and wouldn't get a new vacuum cleaner. And he had a dog. He had clumps of dog hair everywhere. And I was like, bro, like just get a nice vacuum. Like it's not good. People, I do this to myself too, where I'm like really stingy with myself sometimes. And I won't give in and buy something because I I don't know inflation or I can't justify the cost of it or I think I'm going to get a deal or so I hold out and I'm hanging on to like the old like you know Hoover vacuum for like 10 years and then all of a sudden you get like a new vacuum and you're like that is the best $200 I ever fucking spent right you got a Roomba wow see I have not broken down to do that because to me a little tiny a hockey puck looking thing is not going to run around and vacuum. Actually, let's be real. I haven't done that because there's too much clutter. This, the Roomba cannot remember my room. It'll be, the Roomba would be stuck in between object A and object B. And then the next day it'll go back and it'll be all screwed up because A and B will be gone. But D, C and E will be, you know, the pattern's never the same. There's a, always a path. See, the Roomba actually, like, remembers the floor. Can you believe that? The artificial intelligence. You, you like it, too? But th this, this thing is, like, what, like, and it's not even loud. I thought it was going to wake up the kids. No, like, it's amazing. If you have pets too and you want to get that little dog hair in the corner you know and it's lightweight it's really lightweight so it's the perfect gift I'm I'm not I'm just I'm not even selling and I'm just sharing my appreciation because I think it could help people especially people that are like it's too heavy for me or I'm gonna trip over the court I don't know about you but my mom is completely like crippled and very mentally um not there like she's not stupid but she's not with it mentally so she's that would benefit her because it's lightweight because she doesn't clean because that's her excuse i can't lift it you know pe we all know people like that we know people like that and usually they don't want to change because they have an excuse for everything. So, yeah, there, that's, yes, it's something that makes life easier. I got distracted when I was going to bust out my, what was I going to bust out? I think I was going to show you the silver coins that you guys should be getting. I should be getting more, but I, I, if there's a crash, they might momentarily come down. Sometimes these things crash so fast, though, that you can't even snatch it up in time i i i just you know and it's annoying because again people told me to do this like years ago but i was scared to do it i was didn't know what i was doing and i was thought i would go to some one of those gold and silver places and i'd get like you know ripped off or something and i was just like i don't know what i'm doing right i don't know where my shit is i lost it <laughs> don't say that I was just gonna show a silver ounce of silver it's like I don't they've it's been going up how much does it cost how much does Costco sell them for I got my gold uh like 
1918 was the spot price but they charge you like eighty dollars extra which is annoying so yeah then that puts it at like 2k which is hey kevin sorry i left your live he was it was a good teaching he always does good teachings but i was emotional and i just wanted to get out of my emotional head so i opened up the vacuum cleaner and it was it is a game changer because I, that's from like 30 seconds of vacuuming and i'm trying to get clean i'm not trying i'm doing it but i'm starting where i'm at and i'm starting as a slob borderline hoarder so here we go and this is for all of your friends, all of your grandmas. It's so lightweight and it's cordless. Good for the tall people. It's like the perfect gift for, I think I should be a vacuum sales per. Like I could, that could be my job. Like I could do that. I was so excited when I bought my house because I had got the Kirby. I have a really funny story. The Kirby vacuum cleaner. Remember those guys that come out there? They try to sell you some like $1,500 vacuum and well, they talk you down, you know, and then this is the single mom price. You know, I pull out my single mom card and I'm like, <sighs> then they tell me their sob story. You know, I was raised by a single mom. So for you today, well, you could finance it. And I'm all like, I don't want to finance. What if I want to pay cash? And then that really throws them off because they got nothing. Right? And he, <laughs> the Kirby guy came like day one. Like a couple days into me moving to my house. Maybe they have a record. They probably do. They probably. See, I thought I was special. I thought it was a coincidence. They probably have a record of the new homeowners that are so excited about their new house. And then they want to get them on, on the Kirby vacuum, right? So I, was, I, I scheduled it. And I had the guy. And I put him to work. And I thought, this is going to be how I'm going to get my house clean. Because I'm really going to like make him try to show me <laughs> like how this cleans. And so, and then he did the whole demonstration and how my, we compared my vacuum to his vacuum, even though, you know, that's like a magic trick, sleight of hand or something. They, they do something and then they're like, look, yours didn't work at all. I don't know. And then he wanted to go to my bedroom. So I was like, this is getting like, whoa, that escalated quickly. We are not at that step. You've only been here about an hour, sir. I usually take two hours before I... Um, and so then he wanted to clean my mattress and he was ready to barge in. And I was like, whoa, like I didn't know you were going to go to my bedroom. So... um let me go in there and make sure there's not anything like, you know, I didn't really clean up in a while. I don't want to make sure there's any used condoms on the mattress or anything. And then he's like, okay. And I'm like, just kidding. <laughs> I don't use condoms. Do you love my joke? I should do stand up. <laughs> That's why I got two kids, bro. So then it really started getting serious. Like he was really... No, I'm joking. I'm jo I'm not joking about that. That is a true statement that I did say. And I like I I did say that and I laughed my ass off. And then he vacuumed um while Kevin missed the joke. It was so funny. Kevin missed it. You missed the curve. <laughs> I'll I'll have to post a clip or something. Oh, it was, it's so, yeah, he comes in and he starts vacuuming my mattress. The Kirby vacuum sales guy. Do you know who the, he vacuumed the rug? Yes. I, I had him going to town. Yeah, it was weird because it's a guy by himself. When I bought the house, like five years ago, it's a lone guy, like by himself. And he's like. Yeah, he was like, so this is a true story. 
This is a true story. I guess I'll tell it again because they probably have new people in here. Okay. Kirby, Kevin, don't leave. I'm telling it. He wanted an, are you still there, Kevin? You sold me at powerful suction. So, okay. So here's what happens. I was saying when I, thank you, Adam. I'm in Texas. The state of despair. Oh, the state of beef brisket. I, okay, so here's the story. Oh, I have a really funny story. Don't, I have a lot of funny stories. Okay, you want me to tell the Kirby story again? Fine, I'll, okay. Kirby Vacuum Cleaner is a vacuum cleaner sales guy. They're, they're, it's just a thing, right? It's a big thing that it's a really expensive, heavy duty vacuum, right? That costs like thousands of dollars back in the day. And so they have actual salespeople that will go door to door. So me owning, like getting in my first house, I was like excited, right? That I got, oh my God, I got a Kirby vacuum set. Like it made me excited that I was going to get the presentation. And I thought this was an opportunity to have put him to work. And that I would kind of like really want him to show me how good it vacuumed, right? And like, why don't we work a little more on the living room, right? And um, so he's trying to do the demo and I've got two little kids. Like we're talking, you know, not even almost two year old and a three, two, you know, two and four practically basically, but little babies running around and the Kirby guy, it, you know, and he's there and it's some evening and it's getting dark and shit, but the guy's like, trying to show me like that my vacuum's no good and let's do the comparison, you know, and we're doing all this. And I'm, so I'm trying to push it, you know, cause I know I'm not going to buy a vacuum. I'm not in the place to like want to drop that kind of money. But I was like, well, at least I can get my house clean. So let's go. Well, Hey, would it work on the hard floors over here? What about the tile? Oh, can we do this? And then he wanted to tell me about the mattress. He goes, this will clean your mattress. And I was like, whoa, this is getting a little, you know, this is escalating quickly. I mean, I usually get to know somebody a little better before I invite them in my, you know, bedroom. You know, you've been here about an hour. Usually that's, you know, two hours in. Let's just kind of let me go in there and make sure that it's not a mess anyway, because like, you know, I might want to make sure there's you know, I have it cleaned up. I didn't know you were going to go in my bedroom. I mean, you want to clean my mattress. It's like, whoa, like you're going to vacuum it. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to vacuum your mattress and get all those dust mites up and everything. And I was like, okay, well let me do a little run through and make sure it's like not horrible. Cause I didn't know you were going in that room. And I want to make sure there's no like used condoms on the mattress, you know? And then I'm like, just kidding. I don't use condoms. And then I was like, it was just a joke, but you know, it was funny. Cause you know, I'm single mom, two kids. I'm pulling the single mom card. Cause I don't want this guy to like, you know, try to convince me to buy something that, so that's, that's about it. It was just funny. Um, I had a real funny story though. Savannah, Georgia. Hey, my, my, my funniest story is probably when we, the day I moved into the house, like I said, my kid was not even two. He was sleeping in a pack and play. And then I had a daughter. I mean, I have a daughter now, but she was like, I'm trying to get the ages, you know, I think she, she was like, like four. Cause she, well, she's two and a half years yeah, so she had just turned four, right? And he was about to be two. So he's still like kind of a baby. Like, you know, like when they're like one and a half, 19, 20 months, and they're still running around in a diaper still. You, you know what I'm saying? So they're like a to like toddler, but babyish. And so that was him. And he was sleeping in the pack and play. And um, I had had him in his room all set up. And, when you know, you try to get him to transition and all that. If you're a parent, you know the transition of all that. And then my daughter was in her room and I was sleeping in, in here. And it was our first night in the house. 
And so I wake up and it was because I moved in on a Friday. And so I wake up and it's Saturday morning. And the door, I woke up to the doorbell ringing. And I was like, I mean, clearly I don't know anybody. I just moved in yesterday, like night, like who is at the door? And my daughter gets up too and she hears the doorbell ringing. So we go to the door and I was just like confused because, you know, in my head, I'm like, oh, maybe it's like a housewarming, like surprise or, you know, so I I answer the door and there's a man standing there with his, with his wife, right? And he goes, looks me dead in the eye and goes, are you missing a baby? And I was like, missing a baby? What is he talking about? No, sir, I don't understand. Like, he says it again. Are you missing a baby? Like that, with a, with a country accent, thick. Are you missing a baby? Like, with a condemning voice. And I'm like... <sighs> and so then I look at his wife, and then I look down, and they have a scruffy little dog. And I'm like, oh, that's not my dog. And then I look over and I see my son is standing now in the front yard staring at me. And he's in a diaper and he's got like these white socks hiked up to his like knees. Not even two years old. And he's standing there in a diaper staring at me. And the guy's staring at me and the lady's staring at me, the dog's staring at me. And I'm like, as a matter of fact, uh, yes, I guess I was missing a baby. Um, I'm sorry. And I grab my son and pick him up. And he's like, he was running around the car. He was running all over the yard. Like, and I was like, the kid has never gotten out of the pack. And like, he climbed out of the crib, basically got out the front door, unlocked it, the dead, both locks, right? We're talking deadbolt that he's not even two. So to me, I was like in shock that, but it was just, I will never forget that story. Thank you. I do have funny stories. I need to like put them all like down in a, I don't know story time or something. I never got into that. I probably need to. I just. Are you missing a baby? But like, and I don't, it was funny because he actually like put, you know how like when you have like those big tall, like white sock, cotton socks, like dude socks or something. Like he was wearing, he like, he put those on for some reason. He was just wearing a diaper, but he like decided to pull these big ass white socks up to his knees and he decided to just go outside and just run around the front yard and try to get in the car and jump on top of the car and like in the, in the driveway and like do all these things. And my, the neighbor just like, I guess saw, oh my God, there's a young child, like just by themselves unoccupied. So yeah, that's how I got welcomed into the neighborhood. Whew. But my, yeah, so the stick vacuum is incredible. Um, the, Reagan's about to be 10. It, it, you know, when you have kids, it feels like it's forever, especially when you have two because you have one that you have to do the whole milk thing and then you have to like, you know, pumping, nursing, whatever, you know, and then you got terrible twos and then you got to get rid of diapers and then you end up having the second child and it's like, you have to go through all of that again. So you just had this like weird long, like seven years of like, like hell kind of like no offense. Like it's a blessing too. it, you know, but it's just, it's, there's a lot, there's a lot there a lot of tiring, you know, especially when you're a single parent and you're doing these things by yourself. Or even if you have a husband that doesn't believe in like, thank you, Sam, changing any diapers. There's a lot of women I see that like their husbands are just gone and they're just like, that's woman's work. And they just don't 
you know, and then they're, but they're exhausted from working too. Cause there's like a mental thing that happens when you go out and you work and you're trying to support a family. So there's like this mental exhaustion thing that hits. And then when you get home, you really want to just veg out and like, you don't agree with me? What part? And so you get home and you're just like, some guys aren't like that. They come in and they love their kids and they're just happy. But not a lot of people. That's not everyone. That's a lot of people that are like really beaten down and exhausted with, you know, uh, life and just, I don't know, dealing with aging parents and people got all kinds of things they're dealing with, you know? I was a single parent. I was like the dude. I was the man. I had to be a woman too. And it was like hard because I had to be like, I'm making money and I'm providing. And that's what I do. And I was just like, I don't nurture. You, <laughs> I'll give you something to cry about. Suck it up. You know, it's just, you just, oh my God. Well, I am believing that you don't, that cancer is from Satan. So don't ever say my cancer, it's not your cancer. You are going to will that to be gone in the name of Jesus. If you believe in him, it doesn't matter if you believe in your thought process that you're going to be healed. And sorry to hear that. I have, uh, I feel bad for people, not feel bad for people. It's sad to hear that diagnosis. People get really um, quick to say, um, like, let that consume, and then that fear, and then the whole, and I'm not minimizing it. For only thing I can say is I had a back injury that was so bad that I I was crippled, okay? Like, because my disc ruptured in the L5S one and I was only 33 and I had a one-year-old baby he was not even one at the time like just learning how to walk and I was bending over changing diapers all like I was like helpless there like I said their dad was not around I did have some roommates I had to take four months off of like work and the disability doesn't um cut at all either so those injuries are life changing. Yeah. So my disc just snapped one day and I couldn't walk. And then I had a cane for a little while. But again, I'm like got two small kids and I'm only 33 years old. So it was like, this can't be my life. And I remember just almost refusing it. Like just... It, refusing it. And the one thing that kept me going was that I was going to have a full recovery because I, I couldn't climb a tree. As silly as that is, it was like, I couldn't, I was so, I couldn't do a lot of things. I couldn't bend over to change a diaper. Um, I wasn't allowed to bend over. They said, don't bend over. I went to physical therapy I saw a surgeon that, that wanted to tell me that I, you have a ruptured disc and you're still, yeah. So they wanted to do surgery and I'm crying and I was, I really try, yes, I climb trees. I do. I do. Uh, because when I was in the, but I didn't know, like, I swear to God, like at that time, with waking up in the level of pain, the excruciating pain, because the disc was ruptured 11 millimeters. So it, it was spilling into the sciatic nerve down my leg. And I would wake up in the most horrifying. No, I don't smoke. But when you talk for like two hours a day, well, more than that. <laughs> and I need water. I haven't taken a break. Um, Tree climbing videos, I probably, I have some photos. I'll make you a tree climbing video. Yeah, I pull my ass up in there and everything. But the whole, what I'm trying to say is when I was in that state 
and I was there. I was truly there, and I didn't have any family around, so I was I was in a hopeless state of mind and body. Okay, hopeless state of mind and body physically, but something in my spirit said that this is I'm not accepting it. I'm not accepting this. This there has to be a way. There has to be a way to like get on the other side of this, right? Like, t- this can't be my life, you know? And I, it's because that sciatic pain is like, it's hell. It's hell. Oh my God. The nerve pain, you know? I mean, because it was so bad and it would come on and start spasming like out of nowhere. Like one time I was driving because I could only drive up to 15 minutes a day. And, but I still had to go to physical therapy and back and then I was going three days a week and doing all the exercises and changing the diet and doing everything they said. And I was trying not to have surgery, but yeah, one time I was driving and then the pain just started. It was, it was like knife pain going down my leg and all I could do is pull over and jump out of the car and just lay down on the grass wherever I was and till it passed. And it was just, it was, you know, it was horrible, but I, and what I, and I did ultimately end up getting the micro disectomy. I, but I had three different, um, just got, yeah, it was in the L5 S1. I had a 11 millimeter herniation. I should put my MRI up. Um, but I did end up going the surgical route, uh, no regrets because, um, but the, but my physical therapist set me up with somebody who was a neurosurgeon. So he was a brain surgeon. Um, and he went pretty light on it. And then there, it does end up being a little scar tissue. You can still, there was, there was still some pain that just reminded me that always would set me back for like two years and, and then in the ankle and stuff, like, and I could always tell when it was going to rain and it was just, but, but I had weird things that happened to me where I ran into people that would randomly want to pray for back problems. So God will, I was sharing that for the person who got a cancer diagnosis because it's like, where I'm at today, if if a doctor said that, I, it wouldn't be, I would refuse it. I would just be like, no. I'm, it's not my time. I'm not. And then I would try to figure out whatever I needed to do. And there are so many homeopathic, I'm not trying to minimize any of that, you know, and I had, you know, stuff on the cervix that was, you know, in the past. So I'm not, you know, they gave me some cryo freeze thing, but I it just, I don't know. I'm just trying to say I have a little bit to like of when you've gone through something and gotten on the other side, it's easier to relate to somebody. That's all. And and to encourage them, right? That you know, and that would be you, there are like lots of different cures now and the pharmaceutical companies want to like Stem, I had stem, yeah, stem, those stem cells too, injections. Three back surgeries, stem unit put in. You still have pain. Oh, God, I'm so sorry to hear that. Again, mine was just the micro disectomy, and he just took a little bit off of that part that was spilled into the nerve because I just I couldn't take it. Um, but the other thing I did, though, You've been vaxxed two dozen times and you're fine. Good to hear that. Um, The other thing that happened to me, though, is a few years later, I started getting bad again. And I was paranoid that I didn't want another surgery. So I, this was two years ago. I I actually ran it. I just, it was a God thing because I ran into a personal trainer that was like, you're cracking me up. He's going to get two more vaxes tomorrow. Well, I'm glad that you're taking one for the team or two. 
I was like, I got two jabs, now I have two kids. Um, they, they don't tell you about that side effect either, so you gotta watch out for the big pharma. Just because they're not gonna tell you, like, they're not gonna wanna promote other things. There, There's also this thing call, um, that you can look up and look up the science behind baking soda. My friend had a, a lady who had a, some bladder cancer. So she started drinking this black strap molasses and like baking soda. Um, because it, it, you have to have your body, I guess the premise is you have to have your body at an alkaline place where it doesn't feed, so sugar feeds it, feeds it, and it's in our diet. That's why we're, you know, chemicals and food. That's why we're getting these things honestly but then if you put your body like in a situation where you um it can't replicate in your body right i know thank you atticus yeah they were little and it was like horrifying and it was a long recovery and i don't talk about it but i probably should talk about it like maybe in some videos for people that want to like learn about right? Microdisectomies and ruptured discs. And a lot of people are going through those types of things. And I know I did, especially having the long torso and being tall. And then I had those kids, those big ass babies. I was flinging them in the car seat. That was a big no, no. I was not using my legs and this is all preventable. If I had strong butt muscles, and abs, like I would have supported my lower disc. And so that was the whole point I was making is that I, two years now, I've been, I started working out with a trainer to get some of those muscles built because a lot of people, we want a shortcut, right? So we want like a pill or we want like the doctor to just, cut it out but like really so much of it is just our physical bodies and if we were in like really good physical shape I'm not trying to body shame here it's I'm not but for me I was like that's where I was I was like I had no ass it was flat and and I it yeah, I mean, it's still not done. I'm still not done building that muscle because that whole big giant, that's the biggest muscle in your body is your gluteus maximus. So if you have a very strong butt, you can just pop yourself up and your, your ass is doing the work instead of your back, your lower back. And I was letting my lower back lift everything and move everything. So <laughs> it'll be the judge of that. My it's gotten better and it's still not where it needs to be, but I, that's what I had to do. My bedtime reminder that and yeah, so personally, that's that's what I've had to do is to to get out of pain, right? And as is to work out, um, but you don't need a personal trainer. You can like do things like you can go on YouTube now and. You know, you can just find a little routine and use some cans as weights, use some bottles of water jugs, for just anything. It doesn't have to be complicated. And I think that's our problem, at least mine, is I overcomplicate everything and I don't want to start. I'm 5'11". Yeah, the, they also teach you to tighten your core when you're lifting and then you hold the item like really close to your body and it's just sometimes you got to do stuff that makes you look foolish but you can't worry about what you look like because that's the whole you know and then the other thing is I didn't want to ask for help oh my god being humble especially when you're a man holy shit you don't want to ask another man to lift something up for you you know, you want to do what you've always done and you want to pick it up on your own. One time I would, but people want to help. They love to help. They get joy from helping. You know, I was at, and that's when I bought that vacuum that one year was, I was buying another one in Sam's Club, but I couldn't lift it. It was beyond my weight limit. 
but not this one. Just a plug for this vacuum. It's so lightweight. Perfect for the back injured. Um, and tall enough for you don't, so don't bend over. Don't have to bend over, which is good. But basically, yeah, I was like hauling something that was too heavy. And I, it was so hard for me to ask a stranger in the Sam's Club to put the the vacuum in the back of my car. And then I thought, how foolish is that? People want to help. A guy's not going to care. Like, he's not going to give a shit. He'll be happy to help. I can just say, oh, I have a back injury. Can you please, um, you know, lift this, put this in my car? Oh, yeah, sure. They And then they get so much joy. You're doing them a favor. So ask for help, seriously. That's just a word of advice to all you people that, you know, want to be, have a, you know, not be humble, which I'm that person. Oh, my God. Because you don't want to hear no, too, when, when you finally get, decide to ask somebody for something, you know, and then you get a no, but it's kind of, I don't know, that's. Taller people have more places for injury. Yeah. They live five to six. Well, I'm not going to claim that, but I hear you. I'm going to live to be 120. I'll just start putting that out there. But he's not wrong. He's not wrong with what he's saying. Um, Because, yes, there there are some downsides when you're tall. Um, as a lot of people want to be tall. Call me when you're 100. I will, after you've had a 1,000 of your jabs. Uh, he said he's getting two a day now. For I think he's trolling. I don't know. He's making me laugh. <laughs> you only date him over 90. He's just saying he's... <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm getting tired. Anywho, I don't even know what I say. Oh, to the people that are, like, feeling short. It's okay because you can get bulky, you can get muscles easier, you can, and yes, less back problems for, you know, because you're more compact, so, you, and you can lift things easier without, you know, and tall people have to bend over, oh my god, that's why that last disc is, like, doing more work than anything else. Is six five too tall for me? No, it's not too tall for me, I'm... I'm not demonstrating the vacuum cleaner, but it is, I was like actually really, really impressed and wasn't expecting that. So that was good. Six foot and 220 in your fifties. That, that's, that's good. Tall people will be bending. I know it's never tall enough either. I wanted to custom make my cabinets and they convinced me not like, can't you just add four inches? They're like, eh, nobody wants to do any extra work. Even if you pay them for it. You ever notice that? People are getting just like, but. So Doc said to lose another 10. I know, but what's 10 pounds really? It's like some water weight. You could throw your chihuahua out the window. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Lost 10 pounds. <laughs> Oh, it got me a follower. <laughs> Sometimes that happens when I say some more off the wall. They're skeptical about me. And then I say something like, okay. I do that too, right? You're like on YouTube and I'm like, subscribe. Yeah, it's like, oh, you're carrying around an extra chihuahua. Yeah. But I'm just saying, ten in the grand scheme of things, 10 pounds is not, you know, much. And honestly, it's better to gain 10 pounds if you're going to gain muscle. Uh, because then you're burning more calories. And then the fat will go away. Like, you'll lose some fat by gaining muscle, right? See what I'm saying? There's a lot of these people are stuck on the cardio and they're just running and running and I ah, burn calories that they, they got it all backwards though just build some muscle and then you'll burn more calories all day long so you don't have to kill yourself on the treadmill because if that were the case I wouldn't want to work out either <laughs> like 
Like I started off like I'm doing 10 reps, uh, three sets of like, like pulling this down the bar. And then I'm going to do a couple of like leg thigh thingies. And then I'm getting the fuck out of here. Like that's it. Like I, I started off just like, I'm just going to work out for 10 minutes or 20 minutes. You know, I'm just going to do three things and then, and that, that's how you start. That's it. And the hardest part is getting there. The hardest part is just getting to the gym. Seriously. Everyone knows that. Because you're just like, oh, I don't want to do it. I'll feel like it later. That That's the other epiphany I had when I got older, which I still don't understand why. Why can't I just feel like doing what's right? Like, that really annoys me. Why can't I just feel like doing the perfect thing every day? Like, that would make life a lot easier if I f did, felt like eating an apple and like going to bed early and waking up early and putting in, you know, it's like, why can't? <laughs> so I waited till I felt, oh yeah, of course. Yes, I'm a procrastinator and a perfectionist all at the same time. I wait, I try, I would wait until I felt like, like I thought everyone that had clean dishes in their house, like. I thought they liked doing dishes. Like, I thought that if they had a clean house, they just felt like clean. Like, they were just one of those freaks that liked clean. <laughs> like, it felt like it all the time. And I was, so I was, like, waiting for, to feel this burst of, like, desire to, like, clean the dishes. Try some encouragement. And, and then... My sister, like, I mean, I'm in my 30s. I think I was 35. And I was said, well, I don't feel like cleaning the dishes like you. And she's like, Heather, I don't, I don't feel like cleaning dishes. I just do them because they have to be done. Nobody feels like doing the dishes. And uh, it was like an epiphany, a bomb. I was like, I've had dishes piled up in my sink, like, for two weeks because I haven't felt like cleaning them. I just thought that that, through, you know, osmosis, it would just sink in and I would just be like, you know what? I feel like cleaning my dishes today. I really believe that. And I still have dirty dishes in my sink, so I'm not even sitting here from a place of, like, oh, my God, I'm better than you. Because I'm not. Yeah, that is too young, bro. Come on. I'm like 40. That's scary, ain't it? Your dishes are done. Oh my God. But but there's also that thing about that habit and the pattern and the, oh my gosh. Ugh. You like them all. <laughs> A lot of younger guys do prefer the older women nowadays, though, for sure. I could see why. I can see why. Because they're, especially if they're a little bit more mature for their age, because a lot of the young women are just... Thank you, Sam. No, I shouldn't say the young women, but it's just... I mean, I was young. They say youth is wasted on the young, right? It's like the wisdom you have when you're older, though, is just, and then you're not, I don't know. You get less, do women get less crazy with age? I don't know if that's true. I have, but I, I'm still kind of nuts. The crazy hotline is true, too. Have you seen that one? You're in your 20s and you date him in your 30s. Yeah. Because because there, if there's a guy that's more, like, you know, he's 25, he's already, like, working, thinking about getting a house, whatever. He's just, he doesn't want to date some 21-year-old, like, bimbo. Like, let's, you know, like, that's clueless. That just, like, laughs a lot and thinks that, like, some, just because she's hot, that some guy is going to just, like, pay for everything. I'm not hot enough for you to, like, get my nails done and spend, like, $60 every time, like, twice a week. I'm not hot enough. Isn't that worth something? Because I'm hot. You know that, right? I'm, like, hot. <laughs> it's like, yeah, there's a lot of hot 
chicks out there. The voice is spot on. It's like, but some people are like that. They're so entitled. Oh, my God. I probably used to be like that. That's why when you're older, you calm the fuck down and you, like, learn stuff. There's a shortage of hot... Yeah. There kind of is in a way, but, like... Pro but not really. Not not when you're 20. Right? You got that fast metabolism. You throw on those short shorts and a little crop top and just stare at your smartphone and make, you know, just be like, I'm hot. Right? But I'm hot. I'm just, like, really hot. And, like, yeah, I guess... I don't know. I don't have to know anything. Because, like, you're just going to, like, pay for me, right? Because, like, I'm hot. Like, duh. Like, and if you won't, there's some other thirsty dude down the road. So, bye. Is That's what I do. No. Does it look like I do that? A lot of women. So, you're saying they're still doing that, too? I'm 40. I can say that with confidence now. I That frightened the shit out of me turning 40. I used to think that was old. That scared me like that. Because like when you're 20, the, the because of these fake freaking fingernails that just pop off because they're not done at a salon. This is bad because I was supposed to do a video, but like I literally spent two hours putting them on and they just fucking pop right off. I should make a channel doing that voice. Okay. I can do a lot of voices. I'm going to be on here all night. This is crazy, guys. This is just nuts. You guys are... I'm like literally eating the nail off. <laughs> 40, because I just... There was something about it where when I was like 20, I'm like... Well, I've got two more decades before I'm there. You know, you just look around and you'd see these 40-year-olds and you'd be like... I probably could be a stand-up comedian. Like, I could do a set, like, where I write. I want to do that. Write it down. I'm really supposed to be showing off this damn vacuum. You want to know my voices? A Ammo, Ammo, can, Ammo can come out, too. Yeah, yeah. A Ammo. See? I'm just full of everything, man. I just can't help it. I really like this vacuum. Yeah. yeah. I know, because you didn't know I could do that. It's scary. Yeah. Yeah. Emma like Emma. Emma wanna go vacuum. And Emma Emma don't like it when there's lots of cords and oh, and it's so lightweight, a puppet can use it. Hire me now. Hire me now, guys. I should put on my Elmo costume and just vacuum the house. Like it's right? You don't think I have an Elmo costume, do you? You doubted me, didn't you? You know what's mortifying is I actually bought the Elmo costume and then realized it wasn't in the bag and I actually had to go back to the store with the walk of shame and worry that maybe they didn't believe me that I bought it. And I'm like, so like there was this Elmo costume and like I bought it and like it's not in the bag and I don't have my... Re and she just like picks it up and it's this big red furry Elmo thing hanging and I'm like... And she hands it to me. It's like, no one else wants that bitch. Here. Like, nobody cares about Elmo. Come on. Nobody wanted an adult size Elmo costume but you. Here. We were waiting for you to get this shit out of here. And you paid us for it. Joke's on you. I'm like, well, she didn't really say that. But shit, I eBayed that shit. I was like, I could sell this. That's my big go-to. I could sell this on eBay for like $75 when somebody's like, you bought that? Oh, don't even get me on this thing. Do you remember these things? They're like bigger. Everything's... Remember this when you were a kid? Like this like thing that like falls... Oh my God. It's like fucking... Crazy. Remember those? Sorry. ADHD moment. 
It was just fell out of my closet. I was going to get the Elmo costume. I was, I have to show, I've got the receipts. I don't just say something. People think I'm like, There's my fur coat. <laughs> you can laugh or you can cry in this life. You can be weird and laugh and make other people laugh. Or you can just be like really serious and lame and whatever. Ever, that's It's a free country. So I'm going to take my freedoms and get my Elmo costume. And I'm going to vacuum an Elmo costume. <laughs> this could be my job. It could be like full-time job. It's like, what do you do? Well, I just like sell vacuums uh, like I, in my Elmo costume. And what the fuck? Yeah, it's 2023. You can be anything you want, you know, kids. What's your excuse? I'm making money vacuuming in an Elmo costume. Right? <laughs> The world is your oyster, folks. Let's do this. Okay. Body suits are in, apparently. Well, I don't know. That's why I'm doing this TikTok shop shit. Because it's like, it's going to lead to something. And then next thing you know, I'm going to have my dream job. But you got to do stuff for free for a long time until somebody will pay you for it. You know, I've been doing that for... I didn't know I could... Ammo! Ammo want a vacuum! Ammo want to use my vacuum! This company is going to be like, oh no you didn't. Oh no you didn't. I thought of the... Oh, now I've got the red shoes to go with the... Um, this is why, when I act like a fool like this, my kids think I'm not working. And I'm like, I'm working. They see me popped out with the Elmo. Mommy's, mommy's working. <laughs> right? They're like, no, you're just on TikTok. I'm like, yeah, okay, well. <laughs> Whatever. You can laugh or you can just laugh. Sorry, because shit's funny. If you don't want to laugh, then you're in the wrong room. Okay? Because we're going to laugh. We're going to do this. I'm going all out. <laughs> oh my God, Kevin came back. He's like, uh-oh, what's going on now? We're doing it. This is my dream job. I'm manifesting my dream job. I am going to be Elmo. An Elmo vacuum salesman. And I've got a captive audience here. And apparently this is backwards. It's supposed to be what? I'm too lazy to turn it around. So just bear with me. Let's get going. La 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 la. We got to get it going. La 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 la. Eh, eh, elbows were. Okay, forget that. on me yeah you know that I, I'm next I, uh, sorry my voice is a little too deep for this <laughs> let me get some water <laughs> but you guys ever see those Elmo people that don't even fucking sound like Elmo they don't even want to mess oh god pink scrubs is in M pink yeah pink yeah yeah pink scrubs yeah she my friend Elmo love pink scrubs Elmo really love pink scrubs yeah okay I did that for you this is my dream job my boss I work for corporate America America I just like saying that fortune 500 baby and what do I do I, I like to dress up like Elmo yeah my boss wants to know why why I'm not getting all my my work done and, and yeah well maybe I maybe I stay up on TikTok too long in a full size adult onesie Elmo costume in my room at forty years old forty years old here 
Wow, I'm getting a crowd doing this. Wow, this is like intense. This is intensifying. People are like popping on like, what the fuck? <sighs> is racing so I gave it my all thank you thank you Hank <sighs> that just happened out of nowhere so how we doing how are we doing we love you <laughs> I work Ed Bass Master on YouTube wait who's that Am I taking his, um, his get, his stick, chic, stick, his stick? I know, I was just talking about the children telling me that I'm not working when, because I have to be loud to do good on this, and that was my problem. I was like, I started trying to be more, you know, responsible and go to bed earlier and like, you know, all that, and then I didn't want to be loud and weird and crazy, but that's what I have to do to perform, you know, on TikTok to get like an audience going and get people talking, engaging with each other. You know, it's a show almost. And so uh, it takes a lot of energy to put on this level of a show. He's a character that just sounds like Elmo. Is this what really goes on in Elmo's world? Thanks for the follows. No, honestly, I'm being very honest. Yes, it is. I was I was shocked. I was so glad that they sent that to me because I'm trying to get organized and I wouldn't have bought it because I don't know why. Because I'm still kicking myself in the butt for buying a really expensive vacuum that I never use because of the cord and all that. And this just plugs in and charges. And it's disgusting, guys. Like, I barely vacuumed. That's from a little bit earlier and just now. But but the, but this is like pe so many people, they could exercise with this thing. But like everyone's excuse is just like my mom is all like crippled and she's, I have a shark. But 
Are you talking about the cordless shark? It's probably the same technology. Let's be real. They're probably all made in sh uh, sh They have different labels. It's the same people that make these things out of China. Okay, I'm sure the shark is made out of China. So, everybody's got their excuse. Like, yeah, I can't trip over the cord. And, oh, my arthritis. And, oh, it's too heavy. And grandma can flip this thing around. Come on, man. So, it just... Like this big wad of dirt. I mean, there's nobody, there's nobody that took as much pride. I mean, China's okay, like, as far as, like, they can't, they I mean, they got some good manufacturing going. I mean, it's just some, I don't like the stuff that's made so cheap that it just ends up in the landfill and, you know. But this product actually seems decent. It, hey, hey, Bert. Um, uh, yeah. Hey. Oh, no, that's like Kermit the Frog here. Yeah, Kermit, Kermit the Frog. Uh, yeah. Miss Piggy. Miss Piggy. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm an old person and I grunt. <laughs> and the attachments. No, I actually love this product. I'm not, I don't, it doesn't. I don't need, you know, I don't know. What I'm saying is I'm not trying, like, I'm not trying to, like, push something that's, like, I don't know, that I don't believe in. I have a lot of things I have to maybe make, like, a video on. But some of it, you, you can tell if I'm really into it or not. You get what I'm saying? It's all of a sudden you saw me and you got to make a video. But there, there's some stuff where I was like, this is great, this price is great, or this product really works. So, like, yeah, I actually feel like I haven't had a stick vacuum before. Ooh, I have 69 new followers. We've... It says I've been on for two hours. So, like, yeah, if TikTok shop gives you, like, a... um you know, coupon or something, you know, pick it up, you know, that's all. They do that for people where you'll get like a discount or a sales or something. It's just basically they're trying to compete with the Amazon right now. I'm getting tired. It's been two hours. Whew. But, yeah, I mean, for them, it's just free marketing. I mean, not free. They sent me a product, but you know what I mean. That's It's smart. Smart. But I unboxed it, set it up on here. I'm in Texas. And then as I was using it, thank you, guys. Thank you, Hank. Michael. Got to clear my follow list so I can follow some of you guys back because I only let you follow 10K. And I got to like bots on there. I got to get rid of. Thanks. I think I make myself laugh too all the time. I just, um, it's just better that way. It's like Mickey. Like I just imitate like, I don't know. I could change accents and I don't, I don't know. I could just, it's weird. Oh, an officer in Grand Prairie. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm getting tired. I gotta hang up and go. How long do you use that vacuum? I didn't use it for that long. Yeah, I can do some impression. I was doing Elmo where you... I was doing Elmo. Elmo, Elmo was uh, using... Elmo was using the vacuum. Yeah, Elmo liked the vacuum. <sighs> so, yeah, I do other stuff. Oh. Me... It takes a minute to transition from one to another. Hello. Because I, it's like you have to, like, change in your throat. Miska, Booska, Mickey Mouse, Mickey. <coughs> I have to like get into it. M I C K. 
Hello, Mickey Mouse here. Oh boy, you know. Oh, we're going to have a handy... I don't know. Celebrities? Like who? I don't know. If I hear something, I can sometimes sound like it, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know. <laughs> or my boss or something. Or like... So, you know, sometimes I don't <laughs> Yeah. I was doing, um, people would make fun of me for, like, try to call me trans. They'd be like, Bruce Jenner. And I'd be like, oh, actually, it's, you know, actually Caitlyn Jenner now. You know, I've had the full change, you know. Kim and I have, uh, went to the operation, you know. We, so, I don't know. I don't know. No, I don't smoke. I, I've been talking and screaming for two hours straight, so you lose your voice. So, yeah, this thing really sucks. This really sucks. Good. And... What do you cast for? That sounds like it's not real, though. He's like, I'm a producer. But at this point, who knows? I'm sure there's producers on TikTok or they try to find people. I love acting, though. Um, I did some, like, you know, theater when I was in college. You put a lot on the back burner, though, like when you have kids. And I feel horrible saying that because the kids are a blessing. It's just that. You know, when you're raising your children, you're not, you can't just go out every night and go to auditions and, um, you know, you know what I'm saying? It's just. Yeah. True crime. That was, yeah, I used to watch nothing but that for a long time investigative discover id yeah but like this is like look at the dirt that came up like what the hell that's disturbing i want i'm hoping that's like something else that came up off the fl i don't know something i spilt right well, yeah, I feel I wouldn't be the person I am. To, I've gotten a lot better because of my children. And they're, I don't want to like discredit them because they're amazing, you know, but I also, there's parts of me that like just really wants to like do stuff uninterrupted <laughs> and doesn't want to have like the demands of like, mommy, I'm there, mommy, mommy, mommy. Well, of course, yes, I would be awesome on TV. Thank you for noticing that. I appreciate that because a lot, I don't know why I, I don't know. It's weird. Have not been discovered. I haven't really like put myself out there though, because again, you'd have to have an agent and have auditions and you know, there's all of that. And then there's like, so I started doing it on TikTok and I'm like, that's why my audience, you know, I grew a following and stuff. You know, because people, you know, they liked me, you know, they just enjoyed whatever. We would have conversations and laughing, talking about serious stuff. And then I was thinking about getting a podcast and then I started a YouTube channel. And then, so I don't know, a lot of people just start in, you know, just making videos on their own. And then I've got a bunch of stuff in my TikToks that might not get a lot of views, but it's original stuff or it's funny or there's good. But soup didn't supermarket sweep like get discontinued because I I actually auditioned. I applied for that show and then I heard it wasn't going to air again. Right? Didn't they actually cancel it? I'm very honest, yes. Yeah. I did. I applied. I don't think they're redoing. The, they didn't redo the next season, did they? Because I was really excited that Supermarket Sweep was coming back. 
because it like I <laughs> I actually somebody had a big blow up thing like and I was like I grabbed it and tried to like run out of the store and say it was the two hundred dollars. So, yeah, I get really in. I do supermarket sweep at the grocery store. <laughs> She's getting the five gallon drugs. Throw them in the carts. Yeah, it's actually like oh my Elmo costume. Uh, Elmo, Elmo, gonna say hi. Yeah. No, I was just like. I'll be TikTok famous then, right? But then I just kind of like s stopped pouring into it because I was kind of in like this like true crime horror movie, right? You thought it was a <laughs> It's something I would wear. I had a red fur coat at one point when I was in high school and I had, wore like a white cowboy hat. I thought it was a pimp or something. It was weird. I was stoned. Yeah. Elmo makes sense. Yes, Elmo makes sense. Yeah, I don't know. That was my goal. My goal was like, I gotta get to 100,000 followers. And then I like ate and slept and breathed and like performed like until I got there. But then it was like, once I got there, I don't know. It's like nothing ever... I went through a period where I was kind of depressed for a while and just that's, I don't know. I was in therapy. I was going through some stuff. I was grieving. I was, my grandfather died. I don't know. Shit happens, you know? So I'm in Texas, but yeah. And then I just stopped pursuing the, the TikTok. Um, I know I need to be on TV because I need to have, like, my own, like, I need to have one of those, like, political, like, commentary, like, yeah. I don't know. That's what I wanted to do. But. Just DFW. I moved from Chicago suburbs. But yeah, so then I stopped. There's a, yeah, because I could. You can, I could, yeah, but I really, I don't want to do, I don't know. I just recently got back on the TikTok, on TikTok and started I don't know. Started talking again on here and being myself and having conversations with people. So, um, I guess it's hard to like, yeah, I don't want to do that, Jason. I'm like, oh, because it's like, there's so much more than that. I was doing a lot of that, like, like, uh, the videos, like, um, on TikTok, the thirst trappy, you know, and I still, sometimes those are funny and sometimes that will get the audience and stuff. But like, I did want to be like, but I have more substance than just that. And so, yeah. And so that's what, that's what I decided to, that I'm not, that I'm going to like pour more into people and like the connection and the, I don't know, like real world, real life stuff and try to have a platform that has more meaning, you know, that can help more people. I don't know. You're still up. It's way past your bedtime. I was doing my vacuum cleaner, Kelly. I literally was like in Elmo costume, like, Elmo like this vacuum cleaner. Like I went full blown, man. I, <laughs> they got the best advertisement. I'm blown away. Of course, I knew he was going to hate the dog. I knew he was going to hate the dog, okay? 
And to be honest, puppies are really difficult and annoying and they chew and they just irritate you. And when you're like in a bad mood, it's extra work. And like, yes, puppies are cute. I This is really gross. I'm just showcasing like I cleaned like four square inches of my house and I'm gross. So feel better because I'm gross and you're not. And this is so for my mother because she could like doesn't have an excuse of why she it can't lift the vacuum. It can't move. Okay. So yeah, Alma was Alma was rocking it. Alma went full blown. Um but you know, whatever. The va the vacuums, I just can't eat. I can't say enough about it because it didn't expect anything. It's like, that's why they say lower your expectations. I was just like, oh, whatever, who cares? And then I like, was like, oh my God, this is so convenient and it really works and it really cleans really good. And oh my God, this is disgusting that I've been walking on that. Like it just, there's so many things that happened with this, this vacuum. So no, I don't think it'll break in a month. I, I it's, you can tell it's, it's, it might not, I mean, I agree with you. Things don't last. Like my washer and dryer is from the nineties still. Okay. Like I just, there are some things that are much better back in the day. And that's like one of them like, Oh, let's just make them to break in seven years. I get that. That's why I bought a $1,200 vacuum cleaner that I'm not that excited about. Now it is really good on carpet, but I mean, I've got the stupid plastic floor that they luxury vinyl plank. Fancy word for plastic. Raise the debt ceiling. Let's raise the debt ceiling. Oh, you mean go into more debt because you're broke because you can't budget for shit? And now you've got to go dip in, print more money and then sell more fucking bonds and then pay people back at an interest? I didn't mute you. I don't know what you're talking about. So let's not go down that fucking road. These fancy words they use. Right? <laughs> Raise the debt ceiling equals uh, print more money because we don't have any. You could get that vacuum for half the price of what, what they're offering there. If you price it out, maybe you can find it. Um, I priced it out. I don't know. I thought it was one twenty nine ninety nine. It depends on where you're looking. Maybe, maybe. I don't know which. It's the Lavoy. Like you could do a price comparison. You know, but if you had a a, a coupon in your see now, you might have a TikTok shop coupon right? That would be then something that you'd be like, oh, I'll use my coupon and get it, right? Get it. Or it'll go on sale. Like, that's the whole point. Like, I'm not sitting here saying, yeah, just buy it at the higher price than what it is normally. Um, but I didn't have one of these stick vacuums. I know Dyson came out with one. Shark came out with one. They were probably like $500, $300. Now they're like, you know, this one says like $130 on sale or, you know, from $200. They all do that, obviously, that they're on sale. This is a retail suggested value. So, yeah. But this brand is a little bit pricier, even though it's probably the same technology that Dyson has. They probably like build the same vacuums in the same factory and put a different little label on it, okay? Whatever. The point is, is that it's lightweight and it that cleaned all that shit and I'm, it's gross. That much cat hair came out of that little rug, okay? And it's cordless. And most of my life's just been me hanging out, but... But it, people just bounce in. The average watch time is like 18 seconds. 
I have some people that hang on with me, but yes, it is. But that's the thing. If somebody's jumping on and look at the vacuum, that's what makes it hard. Because if somebody's actually trying to like price a vacuum or look for a gift for somebody, like, uh, <laughs> I'm so close to that wad of what came off of the carpet, which is scary. How long does the suction last? I I didn't... You bought a used vacuum. Well, you got to do what you got to do. Um, the thing about this, though, it is more of a great gift, I think, because it's something that... Oh, did you find like a refurbished one or something? There's nothing wrong with that. I've done that with products and they've lasted a really long time. I think because it's lightweight and it's cord, it's cordless and it's for this. I'm selling, I think this is better for like people that are more handicapped. There's, that's a selling feature. Okay. Because if you think there's a lot of people that have a grandparent or a mom or a dad that like is not, has mobility issues and says they can't clean their house and you're giving them their freedom back to clean their house. Like they're like, wow, this one's actually light enough. Right. It's like stuff like people do like cleaning supplies for gifts. I didn't check the specs. I probably have to read the manual. Um, let me look at it. Because, um, where'd I put the manual? Because I was, I actually was able to put it together without the manual. And then I think I fanned the manual and blew through it. I think I was going to put it on the charger. The charger, it has a bunch of attachments that it hangs on the wall. And it has this little charger that plugs in. And they give you the little plug, the all of that to hang on the wall. And they give you all these lovely attachments. And I think it would be convenient to have, like, and I don't even know how the attachments work. I mean, that's a whole, that's a game changer then. Because then it becomes something where you could take it to your car. And what do you do? Like, take this off? I didn't even check out this part. Oh, my God. I didn't even see this feature. And again, I just... I'm, I bought a Recar. I bought a Recar vacuum cleaner. Now I feel foolish. $400 cheaper, and it's only a little heavier. This one's a little heavier than your Dyson? I didn't even see this part. So that's a game changer. No. This is crazy. Because I spent way too much for the vacuum. Oh, well. Oh, well. I shouldn't say that. I just, it's, I'm mortified. Okay. I didn't even look at this part, guys. Apparently, there's these things that clip on, which I didn't know about these and I'm sure Dyson did this years ago but why am I just now learning this technology because I just bought a vacuum like a year ago that like had a big long tube thing because I wanted the big tube and I could have just got this thing and I'm kicking myself I'm kicking myself because that's all you need, and you can do your own car. Like, what the hell? So, yeah, I'm not even joking that I'm, I have, I, I've got a car, a carpet. I got sold on this vacuum where you can go to the repair store, and it's supposed to last, like, 20 years, and it has two two motors, you know. That's the one I got for carpets with no carpets in my house. It's like when I took my baby to the dentist before she had any teeth. And they said, bring her back when she has teeth. And I was like, well, I thought you were going to check her gums. So I'm not stupid, but sometimes I am. Because they told me to bring my baby to the dentist every six months. 
I thought I brought a gummy bear. I didn't know. I thought it was a procedure. They like suggested it. Well, apparently some kids have teeth. That's <laughs> sorry. It is portable. It's portable. It's portable. And you can just and it has these like attachments, guys, that you like stick right here. Look. 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 Oh my god, I didn't even realize it did that. You know, and then you get the corners, and then you get your car, and then you get the couch, you all know, the goldfish crackers. Like, this, this is a gift, though. If you don't want one for yourself, this is a great gift. That's, this is, you know, we're all trained. We're all good consumers, okay? And... It's the whole, like, I don't know what to get this person. They have everything. Well, maybe they don't have a stick vacuum cleaner. Or maybe they have... The, I think the link says it's, like, $129.99 on... That link. But I don't really know if there's um, a better price. Or if maybe TikTok gave you a coupon. Right? Because they're trying to get you to buy some. So a lot, I would... If you have a coupon, you might want to get it. Um, because TikTok will push out, like, a, coupons periodically for the TikTok shop to get you to buy something. And everyone's skeptical, but I've bought some stuff before, you know, I was, they were sending me things or whatever. And I was like, well, let's just check it out, you know? And it was like, oh, okay, well, that came pretty quick, you know? It was just, I don't know. And, and basically what they're doing is it's... They want to compete. I've said this before, but they're truly TikTok shop is going to Amazon should be scared because all the Amazon sellers are coming over here. Prices are very comparable. Sometimes they have a discount over here, you know, plus they don't, you're not going to have to pay your $14.99 for your prime a month. I mean, maybe if you stream on it, but that's... I bet Amazon's going to have to almost lower that maybe. I don't with that free shipping because the TikTok shop is doing that. They're offering free shipping like if you spend $20. You bought one. Now I just need someone to use. There you go. Oh, did you buy one for my link? Or did you have one before? You, I'm warm in this costume. But what I'm trying to say is, oh my God, thank you, Billy. That's so, thank you. But um, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I do sales. Like my job is sales. Like I'm an outside sales rep, okay. But so, but I'm not, I don't sell like for like the the sale, right? I'm, if I believe in, I can't sell anything if I don't believe in it. So I actually believe in this product okay which I wasn't expecting to and I feel foolish because I was trying because I just paid like for the other little handheld thing with no suction and I feel like an ass because I bought all these other things and then I never use them and then they pile up and I'm like well the stick vacuum's amazing because it um actually like for me, I can clean, I want to clean my car. I want to go and clean it regularly. And that's the big thing is it's such a pain in the ass. I actually had, and this thing gave out, I got it in O'Reilly's, the thing to go on the battery and jump my car. I had one that I could plug in, a uh, plug. So I was plugging into my motor, running my little vacuum cleaner through the car. <laughs> Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, or you go to the, um, what's the specs on runtime? I'm sorry. I got distracted. Damn it. Don't do that, Heather. I'm mortified because it's like, where did I put my book? So when you're going to the car place, you want to sneak in there and use their hose. It's got to be in the book. There's a little manual here but they gave me a big book and I'm sure it's in there 
when you go to the car place, though, you know how you want to, like, just use the vacuum thing. Well, now I'm, like, I can just do this. And then if I do it, like, consistently, the kids will think it's fun. The kids will use it. Exactly. You, you can use these, like, little, look at the attachments. That's the thing about it. It sucks like this. Good suction. <laughs> That's hilarious. There's a turbo sucker. Yeah. You need it to work. It does work. Yes, but absolutely. And I'm going to get those um, specs for you for sure. Um, right now, I'm like trying. I feel like I'm not understanding why it's not like. It was on the floor. Maybe I vacuumed it up, but no. It's the little booklet, I was like, I don't need the booklet, and I threw it because I thought that the the vacuums... Oh, oh my God. The vacuum is like, yeah, my job's going to be like, what the fuck were you doing last? <laughs> it's up all night, man. I was showing off this vacuum it could really suck like nothing else <laughs> can I tell uh tell you a story and I am finding the book Jason Just bear with me story about a superman on the moon yeah tell me the story I am finding the book I threw the book because I was like I don't need the instruction manual I'm better than that. Well, the in why is it 40 pages? Okay, yeah, because it probably tells you how long to plug it in for. <sighs> Where's the book that it's like, this is embarrassing. Like, the book, I like, did I throw the book? Like, that makes no sense. I guess I can go online and look it up. Yeah, I'll just do that. I, I was wanting something where I could vacuum something in my car, which is why I had this little vacuum, but it didn't have good suction. This has good suction. So, yeah. And it's a great gift because women do like cleaning products. When, you, when you're undecided on what to get, they would be thrilled with something that works just like the Dyson. It's like the generic Dyson, but they're, it's the same. Everybody does the same thing now, you know? They take the design. Thank you, Sam. And they just copycat it. That's what China does best. It says, okay, scan the QR code or visit for the warranty. Your product comes with a two-year limited warranty starting after the date of purchase. So you do get a two-year warranty for the product. There's a number. Oh, I guess they have, like, other things, too. They have, like, humidifiers and... Well, you have to register for the two-year or whatever, but... Oh, everyone forgets to do those. Thank you for the follow. Everybody, what did you write? Do you understand or have the basic concept of a vacuum cleaner? Hmm. Where's the manual? I The manual, like, is in my room somewhere. And I ha just had it when I unpacked. And then I just, like, so I'm going on their website to look to tell you because... I feel like weird that I, I, I don't, obviously I'm not going to lie and sit here and say like, oh, I know horsepower of vacuums. I just know it sucks really good. <laughs> That's all you need to know. <laughs> uh, yeah. I need the manual. I know. I didn't think I needed it. I'm going online. 
because I'm going to find out how long the charge is. You don't want to know how long the charge is. I want to know how long the charge is now. The dust didn't exit. This is, this is what, and what I'm saying is it works on the, that was on carpet. Look at all this. This is embarrassing because this is what was on my carpet from my cat. I blame the cat, but it's like I barely, I vacuumed for two minutes. So that's even more scary. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah, this, this is a brand. Yeah. They just, I don't know. They're just, they're Amazon people. And they just said, Hey, let's sell on TikTok shop, you know, and TikTok shop is you're blaming the vacuum. It's like, it's, But, like, it sucked all that up in, like, two seconds. And then it has these attachments. It's super lightweight. Yeah, that's from the, like, where I brushed the cat. See? Look at her. She's waiting to be brushed. She ain't even scared of the vacuum. She's just like, oh, no, I snagged my Spanx. That sounds so lame. I found a pair of Spanx for like $5 and I bought them and thought, what are these are? Oh man, I don't like the snag because these are really nice pantyhose. I call them pantyhose still. I'm still wearing this like weird sucker thing. That's another thing that sucks. <sighs> these body suits. Yeah. I, uh, Where are you going to put the dog? I guess you dump it out in your trash. There's a little button to open it up, right? I'm going to look up the charge time, okay? But the whole point... Can you pretend to fit... What? Sorry, I'm plugging my phone in. I'm going to look up the charge. I'm going to go to their website. Um, because... I think it's a good gift for somebody... Because they wouldn't buy that for themselves. They'd be like, oh, that's like a hundred something dollars. I nah, nah, can't be that great. And then it's such a game changer. For me, it is a game changer because I am was wanting something. I must have manifested it. Because I wanted something where I could go in and regularly clean my car out. Like just with the vacuum. And it's lightweight and there's no cord. So you can literally go out to your car and get all those crumbs, especially when you have kids. So it's a game changer when you have children and a mom would love it. And, and it's lightweight. So it, it, so all the, like I'm saying, your elderly parents, grandparents, whatever, your people with physical issues, it's lightweight and there's no um, cord. And so there's a lot of people like my mom who wouldn't clean because she's like, crippled I mean in her head I know it, she made it worse but it's like I can't do anything I don't know I don't I can't go down that's a subject for another day with her yes it works in the home with reliable section yes yes it, it, it just it sucked up the carpet it sucked up it's the it's cat hair okay dust litter it's the crumbs in the kitchen that spilt my mom was yeah she's that's a big part of it and i know she has problems but a lot of people like well and i've been there where you get depressed you don't move it but then you get worse because and the, then the house gets messy and then you're like it's overwhelming and you don't even know where the plug is and then to drag the plug around and tripping over the plug these are real life issues these are real life issues that people have and it's heavy and it's clunky and this thing is lightweight. There's no plug, like, like you charge it, but then it's just super light. I'm really tall and I, it's tall enough for me. I'm 5'11". And 
it's like your Bissell had the same, okay, with a broom, awesome. So then you know what they're like. The prices, I think it was one twenty nine ninety nine on, on the link, but on here, they say it's like normally two hundred, but there's a two year warranty. A lot of those warranties are good, though. I actually never used them, and then one time I did, and it was like, oh, here's a free item. I was like, what? So yeah. Just saying. Oh, they bank on you not using those. Especially like, like I have a carpet shampoo or best thing ever is to have one of those. Okay. Because you want to, especially like for your car seats and stuff once in a while, you spill something with kids. If you're, I mean, whatever, maybe that's an excuse. Maybe you don't let your kids eat in the car. Maybe you don't let them throw McDonald's. I know it's horrible. We're not eating McDonald's like we used to, but that's where I was. It was, here's a cheeseburger. I was so stressed out, so depressed, and so worn out that I couldn't worry about my friends telling me that, oh, organic this and the chemicals. And it was just, at least they're eating. At least they're eating. Sometimes it's like that. Eat the goldfish crackers. Crumble them up into the car. I don't care. I mean, sometimes you are so exhausted and so burnt out, and then your car gets really disgusting. And something like this, it's lightweight, the zzz, you know, it's a game changer. So kid, you can make the kids do it. My kids would love to use that. Go, oh, let's check out the new vacuum. Oh my gosh, yeah, you want to play with it? Cool. And then, yeah, exactly. It never ends. And it's our modern day society. So... That's what happens. They, you know, it's just you roll through the fast food. You you grab something that's quick and you're in a rush and everybody's there. Like, thank you, Hank. I apparently am getting the wrong password in over and over. I always do something positive for my password, so I have to type it in. So it'll be like, God is working it out or, uh, you know, stuff like that. I'm trying, you can see it. Yeah, sorry. I'm trying to keep trying to log into my computer so I can tell you how long the charge time lasts. It looks like I'm in a closet right now. Utility closet. It's like, it's the LVAC 200. So they're probably have different versions. And then it's got a turbo. Just... My house is disgusting, so we could go around the house and run the battery out. I was going to put it on the charge, but then the attachment on the bottom comes off and it's just like a tube. And then you can like literally, and then like, it's crazy. I don't know why there's that much dirt on carpets. I guess that's why I didn't go with carpets. Kevin, what's up? Sorry. I wasn't intending to be on three hours about the vacuum. <laughs> People are asking questions about it, though, and considering it because I was explaining that I think it's a really good gift for people that are like, have physical ailments and can't move around and don't clean because they say it's complicated and sometimes it's people are that depressed they can't even find the vacuum. If I was using my vacuum as a coat hang coat rack for a while there and I didn't have it in the closet where it was supposed to be and then the thought of unraveling the cord and, and moving the cord and being limited with the cord and just, and then I could, I was, I had an extension cord to do my car to try to, I mean, this is like, that was a God thing. Okay. That they sent me that back. Cause I wasn't even, I don't know. 
I was like, yeah, okay, whatever, send me the vacuum. I wasn't real. I didn't think they would really send it. I was kind of skeptical. And then all of a sudden the next day, it's like, oh my God, this vacuum. Yeah, it's crazy. I need a what? A headset and a green screen. I actually am supposed to have like little clip on mic that they were going to send me and like hotel back <laughs> instead of my supply closet. I haven't, I don't know why I have a diaper box. My kids have been out of diapers for years. No, this is me getting organized. I bought this rack and I said I'm stacking up everything on this rack so I can just make some sense of it. The shopping cart at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, they have a flash sale. Oh, shit. They're saying this one's normally, now I don't know if this is true, $299.99. But now it's $129.99. I don't know if that's the suggested retail. But because this is a different model. That's why I'm trying to do some research. Sorry, I keep getting distracted with the comments. The link is right there, honey. It's pinned, Jason. Do you not see it? How, do you see it? the link? It's pinned. I don't know where it's pinned. Do you, where is it pinned? Do you guys see it? Oh, he has to jump out and then jump back in to see it. You're terrible at this stuff. I'm sorry. I know. And honestly, they make it confusing. The TikTok shop is not user friendly. So they're going to have to work on that. Because even when you're like trying to, that's a whole other issue but when you're trying to like when they're sending you something and then they want you to post and pin like I didn't know how to do any of that stuff either I was like very confused Billy got one yeah Billy told me he got one and Jason's well I don't know if they're smarter. China's really good at replicating stuff. That's supposedly they're just really good at that. They are intelligent. I mean. Where's my biceps? And they won't be working out with this vacuum cleaner. Because it's so lightweight. <laughs> this is for your mom and your grandma. I know, don't we? I love old school shopping, Jason. Um, you're not alone because I there's some things you don't want to give up, honestly. And it's very hard to buy things online. But once you start doing it, it's like it gets easier, I guess. But it it is one of those things where you want to like try things and stuff. But they do have returning return options though. I'm pretty sure they're like Amazon. Because that's what TikTok shop like literally is trying to do. Bring China into it. No, somebody said that China does it right. I don't know. I would love to have everything manufactured in the U.S. Do not get me wrong. Okay. There are some things I hate that they will make in China. Like a that doesn't something that doesn't work and it breaks and you got to rebuy it and it goes in the landfill. I wish that even if they had, I wish they would make things that would not break and would last a long time. Oh my God. Tattoo Mark. Oh, no way. You finally got a TikTok. I'll have to follow you back. I have to clear out my follow list because I have 10 K. Yeah. That's what I was trying to tell you. I was like on here like all the time and then I didn't, Sorry, I didn't follow up on the other um, sites, but you're finally building your TikTok. That's He's the biggest fan, uh, the Dallas Cowboys. I do a lot of building for Blue Star Construction, too, by the way. A lot of, do their electricity for the builds, but not. They have their own energy company. Yeah, Dallas Cowboys have, this guy is the mascot for the Dallas Cowboys, Tattoo Mark. You can Google him. He's right here on my TikTok. Isn't that crazy? I still haven't. I've never been to a football game. He's. We're supposed to. 
go to a Dallas Cowboys game and live stream on here. I have tattoos, but they're hidden right. Tattoo Mark is the Dallas Cowboys mascot. Google him. He ha his body's covered with Dallas Cow. He was such a super fan that he covered his whole body with Dallas Cowboys ta like tattoos. And they like said, "Yeah, you're nuts." So you're. He just made himself. Yes, I picked you up on the skating rink. I taught. Yeah. His friends put him out there. He was, dr I guess, drunk. And he was, like, falling over. And I was kind of guiding him how to ice skate. Because I didn't know who he was. But that was, yeah, almost, that was a while ago. Sorry, Jason. I keep, I keep reading the comments. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, he had Google tattoo. What are you tattoo mark? Just Google Dallas Cowboys. Here, tattoo mark. I'll look it up. I'll show you. This is this guy I met. He's right there. He started TikTok finally. He's the Dallas Cowboy. There he is. See. He's the Dallas Cowboys. You guys follow Tattoo Mark. See? I pinned his comment. It only pins for like 57 seconds. He, look, I'm going to flip the camera. Look. This is that guy. Literally, that's him. Dallas Cowboys super fan. See? There he is. There he is. He's got merch. My computer being slow. No, there it is. Can't hear anything. I gotta unmute it. Sorry, guys. Give me a second. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? That's CBS. I probably go to YouTube. Find him on there. Tattoo Mark. He's the Dallas Cowboys mascot, basically, right? Here. Go to images. Tattoo Mark, yeah. He's a holder title for the most inked cowboy fan, okay? Look, got my own song on YouTube under Lady Vice. The song is called Tattoo Mark. See? Yep. He's really, he's not lying. It really is him. I met him before. And he wasn't really on TikTok. Like, he has an Instagram, but I was like, well, you're not on TikTok. So now he's finally here. I was like, we need to go TikTok live at Dallas Cowboys. And it just never happened. But then, like I said, I was like kind of depressed and in the funk and just, I don't know, I was fucked up for a while there. Now I'm better. Tattoo Mark, let's find your song. Cowboys. Where is it? No, this is just a guy. If he's like works for Dallas Cowboys, because he got his whole body tattooed, and then the the owner just basically like enter NFL doing an interview. Like he's known at the games. They let him like hang out in. Because he tattooed his whole body. <laughs> That's what you gotta do, man. You gotta do what you gotta do. Tattoo Mark Tux tells. What do you want me to play? We all know the Cowboys have the largest fan yeah. base in the entire NFL. That's, That's this guy, Lady team, Vice. But chances are no one has endured there he as is. much to support his squad as this next young man. Carol Pinham. And now his goal is to count his blessings and pay it forward. They all know me, brother. I'm, I'm not famous, but I'm definitely known. Tattoo Mark went to Tattoo everyone. Mark, he's right here. What he believes will be a memorable ride this season. Let's go, Cowboys. Come on. Cowboy Nation in the house, baby. This is our house, baby. Our house. We are going to get Tampa Bay. Look out, Brady. 
Mark Shinnefield has 20 tattoos of his favorite cowboys of all time. Everyone from Hall of Famer Jimmy Johnson. This is the real, to yeah. Because I met him before. Even his service but. dog gets in the spirit this time of year. Clearly, he Dear has service the cowboys dog. back. Trying now, to pin his comment. To your body? What does that tell you? That's dedication. That don't come off. It's there for life. Every time the ink dries on another tattoo, it's a reminder of just how fortunate Mark is to still be here. He has one of his mom and one of his dad. In the last 10 years, both parents, his brother and sister, have passed away from heart disease. I there he is. So I, I didn't know he could go live. Life, and I started eating and drinking, sitting around, not exercising. So He's on my life. Look at him. Mark, who battles heart disease himself, weighed almost 450 pounds. His decision a year later to have the gastric sleeve surgery where most of his stomach was removed was a game changer. I had thought to myself that, you know what? I am still young. I can still fight. I am a fighter. I am not a quitter. And I'm going to fight this to the very end. As Tattoo Mark makes his way into AT&T Stadium Sunday night, he can count on Angie, his friend since junior high, to be right by his side. We've seen what's happened to his family and we're really sad what's happened but we know that they're looking down on us and he has them always in his heart right here his thing's not so, like loading but that's okay he's strong he's a strong man now mark is using that strength to inspire others last year collecting over 500 teddy bears for kids at cook children's hospital and three his more hospitals thing didn't connect i actually wanted to collect this I teddy bears done, I, I started passing out this fly and then i just i didn't water. do anything yet but we I'll need do to do that for the kids because remember we don't win. The Cowboys don't win. I don't win. The kids always win. He collects these and teddy bears for like Matthew children's Mark. hospital. He's a giant mm -hmm. teddy bear himself. Much more than the guy in the costume. He's a cowboy super fan with a super message See? that goes way beyond football. Remember, he tomorrow's not promising for me and you. No one. So you know what? It's never too late. And always put into God's hands, man. You yeah. know, uh, Tattoo Martha tells me uh, having heart disease, which obviously yep. runs in his family, believe it or not, does not scare him. He's focused on this moment in time. He right just now, joined my life. That's great. Fan That's funny. And man, he can be. Incredible story. Anyway. Yeah, that was so funny. He's like, oh, Tattoo Mark, remember me? I'm like, yeah, oh my God. He finally got a TikTok. Lavoie vacuum. So buy vacuums. Lavoie, where's the one? That's the one they sent me. Cordless stick vacuum. Okay. Okay, so they got it on the website, just like on TikTok for one twenty nine. Yeah, that's what I thought. It says two ninety nine normally, but no, it's one ninety nine ninety nine normally. I guess so. It's the two hundred dollar model. That's on for yeah, one twenty nine ninety nine. And then he was asking, and I just used it. It really freaking worked. Actually, like. Okay, five stage filtration, effectively catch, holds pet dust in. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. This is for Jason. He said he needed a vacuum. And then, oh, wow, look, you can clean that out. I didn't even notice that. No, you can pay on your. Actually, you don't have to make a TikTok shop account. You just, they usually just make you, um, on, on the link right here. Do you see the pinned link? They usually just make you pay, like you can pay on your Apple pay or your, um, I don't know. I think I've paid on Apple pay, but I had a card whatever credit card I wanted to use on my Apple Pay, and I paid through that. And so that, I don't know if they're making you make... You, you need a secretary. 
do you pay online ever? Do you ever buy anything online, Jason? Like, have you bought anything on your Apple Pay wallet? Do you have an iPhone or do you have Android? Mate. I would hope they would have a PayPal link set up, though. You have an iPhone. I need to eat something. I got to get off here and eat something. 30-day money-back guarantee. <sighs> Two-year. It says limited warranty, but I don't. Lightweight. Okay, run up to 50 minutes. 50 minutes so but I don't know that you vacuum more than that anyway so yeah but if you have like pets yeah this is this is a game changer and it like really does like just did that in like two seconds and what'd you say oh i'm not up to rig it around oh, no worries no worries gotta let get the edge just i just sent you my song to my number yeah, you'll have to play it, or you will have to go live, and you can play your song, too, sometime. I have to go to bed, um, but yeah, I'm, I'll listen. Maybe I can throw the song up real quick. Who made the song with you? Yeah, the vacuum. I could probably look it up, Google the song, and it would pop up, right? The link is pinned on here, but it's also, but it's, it's also like in my showcase. Maybe I could, I could show you how to go on the showcase if I could. Jason.